Hey, what's up guys, it's BK here. So today we're gonna be talking about Type R Fitment. So I think something that makes me cringe on Facebook all the time. Or what does it say that uh, from Family Guy? You know what makes me cringe? Or uh, You know what really grinds my gears? You know what really grinds my gears? Type R guys on Facebook groups. You know why? Because they're asking the same question all the time. So they're asking about uh, OEM tires, they only last a 10K. If you read the manual, when you purchase a vehicle, they tell you the tires usually last 10, 10K miles or so. Second thing is fitment. So everyone talks about going Swift Springs, Spoon Springs. They're great springs, but seems like no one knows how to fit them right. I would assume you guys have had Civics or cars back in the day, but if this is your first car and you're purchasing a Civic Type R, uh, you could do 18, nine and a half, plus 38, plus 45. If you go with plus 45, it just means it pokes in inwards more, which is good if you want to run a tire without rubbing. But if you want to be a little stance boy, a little more hot boy like myself and Ricky, you can run 18, nine and a half, plus 38, even plus 35 if you're really a stance boy. But I think plus 38 is a proper fitment for those guys that want poke, but still a functional setup can run 265 like myself. Currently, Hankooks, Michelin's, Federal's, but I've run all those four tires and they've all been 265, no issues. With the Federals, when I did have plus 38, uh, they would rub. So I did bend the tabs up in the front and uh, I have another video where I did that. So I'll kind of talk, if you guys want to see how I did that, check that video out. For today, we're going to be talking about Ricky's fitment specifically. And he's running 18, nine and a half plus 38, the starter pack TEs, as you guys know. But instead of running 265, He's running 285s, and to get this fitment, it's very possible, very easily, but you do need camber kit. You do need uh, your fenders cut or rolled, and that's something that if you want, you could do it yourself. He went with Mr. Sexy. I haven't gone, but that's something I gotta do. But it is possible running 265 without doing major changes, but uh, I know some of you guys are scared and so, so let's get with Ricky, kind of let him talk about his car and his fitment and what he's ran before and uh, you guys feel a little more comfortable when you want to do it to your type R. All right, let's go over here. Fit check, we got Frasian shirt, Frasian hat. Super tight. Basically to fit the 285 in the back, I was very skeptical. I knew it would work in the front. I knew I had space in the front. The rear, I did not think so. So we, I bought these tires used, got a super good deal from a uh, Santa Ana tire shop. They would just happen to have a set of four Michelins. I paid 300 bucks for four tires. These are like $350 tires. Yeah, each. Set, or each, yeah, yeah, exactly. These are 285, 35, 18. 18 by 9.5 plus 38. I'm running rear camber arm. So if you drop your car on Swiss Springs to start with, you're going to drop down to right around negative 2 to negative 2.1, and you can't change it. That's it. That's what it drops to. Because that's what I drop to. That's what everybody drops to. So I don't know about spoon springs. I just know that is with Swift for sure. That being said, um, that looked great without a 85 with the 65 tire. So if you just do springs, I would suggest doing a 65 in the back. If you're gonna try to squeeze these big dogs in here, you're gonna have to do a rear camber kit um, just cause you need that adjustability. Right now, I haven't taken it to the alignment shop. I did this at the tire shop just by adjusting the camber kit. If I had to take a shot in the dark, I'm probably negative three. Um, or you can get a lesser aggressive wheel. It'd probably fit that way. I'm not sure I haven't done that personally. So I'm just gonna talk about how I got the setup. So negative three, most likely in the back. If I do go to get an alignment this week, uh, I'll throw it in a comment or something. Yeah, we'll, that happens. We'll I'll throw it in a comment. In the front, I'm running the same camber I was with a 65, which is like 2.1, 2.2 negative. So not, not too much. Uh, I think stock's like 1.6 negative. So um, I've had a bunch of people ask, you know, what tire they should get for the 20s because they don't like the stock tire, yada, yada, yada. 255 is a good width for the 20, uh, but you can do a 35 if you're at stock height on the 20. Uh, if you're lowered at all, you can't. Um, you'll rub all over the place. Um, on these, you do not roll this car. Um, as I watched Mr. Sexy do it, it looks OEM, I don't really care, but he trims it, right? So this thing right here is literally only as thin as it is. Now, right here, all the way to like here. 
versus and OEM. The, and the OEM is thick, you know, like just like a normal tab. So it's like, you know, whatever that is. It's like a, and then he trims the metal when you pop this off. He trims the metal underneath it and then cleans that up and throw some stuff on there to keep it from rusting yeah. and so forth. And so, you could you could try it yourself, but you it's can try yourself. But it's one of those things that you bet you better know what you're doing. You better know what you're doing because if water gets in there, it's going to start rusting from the inside. Yeah, I'm fully trimmed, cut, all that fun stuff. Uh, there's really nothing to roll on this car. It's not like a S2K or an SX or something like that. Yeah, it's not like back in the day. Like this is literally. He has a, a wheel roller a, a, and he did not use it the whole time yes. I was there. Doesn't <laughs> this, matter. This, this is a plastic piece. You got to literally cut you it. You ain't rolling it. Yep, you're, you're ain't rolling. It's totally worth doing, um, I think, because you're able to achieve this. Um, with the front, you can see the same thing. The ender fender liner up in here to give it the space to go in and then we trim all the way down to where the lights usually are and then all the way to like here so with this one he just kind of grinded away the tabs there's like two tabs that got taken away but the fender liner is still great still holds up perfectly uh, none of that matters um, it's very thin just like the rear but it's obviously it's metal not plastic like that and that allows you to fit a 285 35 in which you guys can see not even running that crazy negative i could probably get a 95 in there yep. with the same tire i could probably get a 95. um i haven't tracked it with 85 yet so i don't know if a 95 is necessary but i know that the fastest track type r runs a 95 so if that tells you anything you know it is what it is so those guys running 265 uh, like could, like myself yep um Honestly, this is the only location where you rub and yeah, but you do you will hit here You're just gonna hear this and see this more. Yeah, so, so that's why he just does all of it Yeah, so he does the fender liner all that stuff. Yeah, so this is where it's gonna rub mostly like actually metal to metal contact Yeah, and but it'll cut your tire, but your liner um, Like I don't have my car here, but my liner actually here. It's all cut up from just just from my tire rubbing on it yeah. so either you cut it yourself the liner or let the tire do its job and actually with gravity it's just going to cut it up so yeah. it's up to you but if you want to run plus 38 265 or 285 you are going to have to roll it in this then, spe this specific location yep and then the rest is just more because it's going to happen no matter what yep so uh and then you can also run so if i wanted to achieve the same setup but even have a tiny bit more contact patch i could run an 18 by 10 with a plus 40 I could hit run an 18 by 10 and a half with a plus like 42, maybe 45. Uh, wheels are, it's a tough one. I ran 19 by nine and a half plus 42 right when I got the car. Not lowered, not anything. With Your a, stock height? With a 19 by ni uh, 19, 35 sidewall, 265 with tire, and it looked great. It looked fitted, it looked lowered, it was not. Uh, it was obviously it was taller than this, but it looked really nice. I've seen it a lot of times, um, but then when I got coilovers, I went 18. If you don't want to change the height, you don't want to lose comfort, you don't want to lose all that stuff, I highly, highly suggest you just do a 19 by 9.5, plus 40, plus 42, depending on what size tire, and then run a 265, 35, 19. You'll be Depending full on stock the brand. camber, so your stock tire wear, stock everything. Mm -hmm. You could even probably like with a Michelin like this, cause they don't run quite as wide as like the track tires, like AO 52s and CRS and all those. You could probably even run a 275, 35, 19. Um, you know, but 35 is the percent of 275, right? So if you don't know, Obviously, most of you guys probably do, so I'm not talking to you. But if you don't, 275, 35, 19. 35 is 35% 35 of 275. That's how it... That, and that's your height. That's your height of your sidewall, right? So that's how it works. Um, if you want to remain as close to stock as possible, you get on Tire Rack or one of these sites, and you look up the specs. You want to look up overall diameter. I believe overall diameter on the stock 20 with the stock OEM tire, I want to say it's 26.4 or 25.4. I can't remember exactly. I think it's 25.4. Um, and then if you stay as close to that as possible, all your speed, all your everything is going to run as close to OEM as possible. Um, I'm bigger than that, so these are taller. This is 26.1. 
uh, my 19 by nine and a half tight wheels that I had with the 35 by 265, they were 0.2 difference. So I was extremely close to overall OEM height, mm -hmm. if that makes sense to you guys. So overall OE, OEM tire height is what you want to try to stay close to to keep OEM feel. Uh, you know, obviously this car doesn't have a ton of torque steer until you're up in the higher power levels. Even then it doesn't have a ton. Compared to like old school EKs and Tegras, if you had one of those, those had crazy torque above yeah. 250 this, horsepower. This so. car, when it's bone stock, yeah. I, I had no yeah, torque bone, steer. Bone stock, I had none compared none. to my current setup or yeah. his setup. With And the lower offset you go, plus 45 you don't get as, it's pretty similar to stock. Yep. Plus 40 you get a little bit more and then plus 35 it's much more torque steer yep. so the lower offset you go the more torque steer you're doing because you're running make, camber you're making the wheel, wheel poke, poke out poke further out, out than where it should be you're so. changing the car's overall feel but it's possible to go lower offset but you can but, but at that for point most guys, it's, uh, you're kind of walking down a road that only a couple people walk down and you know good luck getting info i know that that robert guy with the black one and jeps they run the s2000 uh, I believe their Voltex makes them, their fender flares, and then mm -hmm. they cut the fender, and they're running 18 by 11 with a 295. But again, they did metal fabrication yep, they're, they're and made it fully the white. fender to not look OEM, right? But it looks sick. If you haven't checked out, I don't know Robert's full Instagram. He's got some numbers on there, I can't remember, but I think it's Robert and then some numbers or something. But <laughs> Robert it, XXX. It's, it's got like a sick looking fender flare. I think it's like a great. Because it kind of blends with the back. You've seen that car, right? You know, no. It's black I, the with Bay the Area? bronze wheels. No, he's here. He, he hangs out with Jeps. No, I don't. I don't know. I've never seen it. I think he it. hangs out with Jeps. I, I see him at the track. Anyway, sick setup. Uh, I think uh, System Motorsports sells the setup that he mm. has on wheels. They have an aggressive Type R setup. It's 18 by 11 plus 33. But you, I think you have to do those or run like crazy camber all the way around. But... Anyway, it's, but it's that, a that, sick look. That's, that's a whole other that's, that's black hole. That's fabricating. Yeah, that's, and that's not what most of you guys are talking about. So yep. if you ever send us a question, we're probably going to send you this video. Plus but, 38, 265, Swift Springs, anything less than an AO52, and you're going to be just fine. Yep. You're going to rub on hard bumps if you don't cut it. Wheels, tires, oh, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Um, I, I don't know, but I know that nine and... Nine and a half plus 38 by 18 is a great looking fitment, as you can tell, for this car. You can see my old videos when I had 265s on there. You can check the fit then. Yep. It's a lot tighter now with these, but it fits. Yep. I hope this video answers you guys' questions about fitment. So you could do 45, um, but plus 38, I think, is, is a little bit more poke. James has 45 on his Regas, and they're 18 by 10. Yeah, but. So it's like a plus 40 without with the nine and a half thing, yeah right so you just gotta you gotta calculate your maths you know unfortunately i'm not good at math i <laughs> i just i'm good at math but just to be clear 265 35 18 yeah but that's pretty much what the, this video is for and if you have any more questions feel free to ask but i hope this video should be pretty much answer all your questions at yeah. this point. so yeah hit us up if you guys have questions in the comments or on instagrams you know, whichever you guys prefer. Yep. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you guys in the next one where we're trying out something else. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, maybe a 295. 295's in the future for the front. Yeah, we'll try 295. 30 um, would be the front, because I think 35 would be too tall. So 295, 30 would be my front. But we'll see. Yep, we'll rock yep. these for a while. Later, yeah. guys. Later, guys. Peace.